Hi, today it's beginning of the fall and I thought the Halloween is coming, the Thanksgiving is coming. So maybe it's a good time to make some carrot cake. As usual, I like to make it with the shortcut. That means I bought one of the spice cake. You could get them in any brand you like. It's just a regular spice cake and you follow the direction in the bag. It asks for one cup of the water, three eggs and one third of the cup vegetable oil. And you gotta mix them together, which I have it all here and I didn't mix it yet. I grabbed a handful of this cake mix and I dusted my walnut. This is toasted chopped walnut. So another way to speed up the process, I just bought it this way. Another shortcut is you can buy the shredded carrot so you don't have to sit and shred in it. What I did is because I think that is a little bigger than I wanted in my carrot cake, I dumped it in my food processor and pulsed it a couple times. I'm gonna add one fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon powder and cardamom powder right here, which I mixed it. And I'm gonna dump it in my mixer. I am going to mix this first, then I'm gonna add the walnut and uh, carrots. my carrots this is one cup carrots and this is my chopped toasted walnut I put one cup, a little short of one cup uh, toasted walnut and I'm gonna put half a cup of mini chocolate chip. Everything better with chocolate chip. Preheat the oven based on what the box says. It says 350 degree of uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, and I'm gonna put them in the pan and put them in the oven. Okay, I grease my pan. This recipe gives you two pound cake. And Okay, you're gonna go in 350 degree Fahrenheit warmed oven. Have a cream cheese, butter, powder, sugar, and that's a, basically the same recipe I always do. And vanilla, my vanilla extract. I would not put too much powder sugar in it because the cake is very sweet. Uh, I would go easy in the powder sugar, but you could put it as much as you like. You're gonna start uh, slow, so the powder sugar wouldn't fly everywhere. I'm gonna beat this to have a smooth cream cheese frosting. Okay, and I'm gonna add the frosting on top of this. I went easy 
on a powdered sugar on the frosting because the cake is very sweet and I kind of like sometimes to add a little caramel glaze in it uh, so therefore I go easy on the sugar on frosting I did one layer frosting I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator uh, and I'm gonna wait 10 or 15 minutes then I'll bring them out and do another layer frosting I take it off the refrigerator and I'm gonna do another layer of cream cheese frosting I cover it with another layer of frosting. Let's test this frosting. See how it tastes like. Mm. It's nice. That rum taste in it. <laughs> Make it good. I have some ready caramel sauce poured in on my carrot cake. You know you could this carrot cake in a bun cake, in the form of the bun cake, cover it the same way with the frosting and then you can pour in the caramel on top and you can decorate it with the carrot marzipan. You know you could buy ready carrot marzipan or you can uh, do it yourself and uh, decorate it with. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that! Pretty, that's why I put them over the tray and I cover it with the foil because I don't want to wash the caramel. My carrot cake is ready. I'm gonna put it aside to caramel get hardened and then I'm gonna serve this with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Thank you very much for watching and let me know what you think.